So we was standing around talking after church last night, and we got to talking about David and Goliath. You know, all the armies of Israel had come out for war, and and here was Goliath, this this giant, and they was all in fear, just unable to move, unable to do anything because of him. And, and he come out and he blasphemed God and he taunted, taunted Israel. And yet they cowered down. They hunkered down in fear. And Jesse sent his youngest son, David, to go out and take his brother's lunch. Can you imagine what this kid was thinking? Man, what heroes his brothers was. They was off to fight the war. And, and he probably had it all pictured out in his head. But when he got there, what he found was quite different than what he was probably expecting to find. This Philistine, this, this giant, this Goliath, was shouting and mocking Israel while the army stood and did nothing. And David wasn't shy about it. He was real quick. He says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? that he would mock the armies of the living God. He had courage. He, he had charisma. He knew that, that there was more to this than just simply a man standing there. But he knew that with God on your side that, that nothing can overcome you. And David was a pipsqueak. And Goliath was a giant. Saul even offered his offered him his armor because David looked. David saw it and he wasn't gonna stand for it. He was gonna go out against him. He was gonna wage war with him. And and Saul offered his his armor, but David couldn't wear it because he was so small. It didn't fit right. And David just wore his shepherd's clothes, took a sling and a few rocks from the creek, and went out against Goliath. See, David understood something that I wished we would understand. And David said the lion and the bear couldn't take him on. While he was out shepherding, while he was out watching over the sheep, a lion had tried to attack, a bear had tried to attack, and yet David prevailed over him. And he knew that just as God had allowed him to prevail over the lion and the bear, that God was going to allow him to prevail over this Philistine. David understood that God had brought him through everything he had ever faced. And God was going to continue to do it. You know, I wished we would get a grasp on that as Christians. I, I wish that we would get a grasp on that. Look, up until this day, God has brought you through every single thing that you have ever faced. He has taken care of you. He has watched over you. He has provided for you. He has met your needs. We get worked up and worried over every whim that comes along. But God is 100% in taking care of us. He's never let us down. He's never failed us. He's made sure that we've made it through every day we've had so far. And he will continue to help us to make sure that we make it through every day that we're, we face up until the end. Rather than looking at the obstacles, rather than looking at the giants in front of us, focus on the God that we serve that we would overcome through Christ. There is nothing in this world that can take us out until our time is done. When God calls us home, there's nothing in this world that can keep us here. Just trust in Him. God bless you guys.